We're out here at the farm today and uh, we're going to be shooting through a few different types of ammo uh, for the AR-15 or, or any other kind of 223. Um, what we're going to be doing today, it's, it's not so much um, an ammo test for me. I've been using this um, 62, sorry, 63 grain um, Gecko 223 ammunition through the AR for a good eight months to a year, I think, off the top of my head. So I've already found that the results uh, with this ammunition far exceed the price. So you're paying uh, basically 70 cents a round for this stuff, um, and in my opinion, shoots better than some of the $1.50 a round ammunition that you'll get for the 223 for the AR. Um, gonna compare it against other budget ammunition today. Um, so we're gonna compare it against some American Eagle, which you can pick up for about 99 bucks for 100. Um, some PMC Bronze, which that was going for as low as 55 cents a round uh, a little while ago, but you'll pick it up more expensively now, it's no longer available at that price. Um, and some Hunting and Fishing brand 223, uh, which I hear a rumour is, uh, is rebranded Hornady. So that's available for um, close to a dollar a round as well. So this 63 grain uh, Gecko ammunition is available through Ayaraki Ammunition. Uh, Paul and Audrey, a, a lovely couple running that company. And um, yeah, it shoots bloody well for the price tag and uh, it's converted me to it. I don't use anything else for any of my testing and so forth. But we'll go through and just give you a comparison shoot today so you can see the results for yourself. Um, I recommend if you do have an AR or something with a, um, a slightly uh, lower twist rate that you do try the heavier ammunition. They really like it. Um, but also the Gecko is great quality stuff. So uh, check out their ammunition range. But, yeah, let's get into it, have a shoot with the stuff, and see how it goes. Alright, in the 100 yard um, section of the test, still up there, I'm just wandering down, can't really see where the bullets have fallen that well in the, um, just in the 16 magnification that I'm shooting with. Let's get up to the target and see how it went. Yeah, the 100 yard test seems to have sorted the men out from the boys. So, in the middle there uh, is the gecko, and that's all, so that's an inch box. So, I'll measure that out, but that's looking like the 0.75 MOA that, um, that that normally shoots for me. Um, that's the PMC. This is the um, American Eagle varmint tip. And that's, that's a, some good grouping in there. Three of those shots are quite nicely grouped together. Um, and that's the Hornady 55 grain. Um, not quite as well grouped. So I'll measure these out properly and by the time uh, the video comes through there'll be some measurements on screen for you. This bubby, I only took one shot at this with my last shot. I'm pretty happy about that. That is bang in the centre. Um, hasn't done a lot of breaking open the bottle because it doesn't have a lot of energy left at that range. But uh, you can see where that one hit. Stoked about that. Right, this beautiful ammunition that we're looking at right here is the Gecko Full Metal Jacket 223 Remington round. It's a target round. I have, because of its accuracy, also been using it for long range varmint hunting um, to good effect. So um, it's not just for cutting paper, but that's its primary design. Part of the reason that I'm doing the review on this ammunition is that I found it to be exceptionally consistent and exceptionally accurate um, for the price. The round is listed as having a velocity of 3,117 feet per second out of a 600mm barrel, so 23.6 inch barrel. Um, I have found out of my 16 inch AR 
that um, it is actually traveling closer to 2,933 feet per second um, through my velocity testing. Um, the ballistic coefficient, just for your interest, is 0.345 if you are putting it into any ballistic calculator. That's been the review of the uh, Geco 223 Remington ammunition. Um, it's available in 63 grain. Um, as I said at the beginning, this exercise here has just been more demonstrating to you the results that I've been getting with this ammo since I started using it um, seven to eight months ago. So, yeah, it's, it's very, very consistent. I found that every time I pull it out of the box, um, I don't get any flyers, I don't get um, those odd weird rounds that you just can't explain. Um, this ammunition is very well put together and very consistent and as you've seen very accurate. Um, yep, fantastic price for that. Like I said, I think it shoots for, for the price. It's shooting like $1.50 ammo and you're paying 70 cents around for it. So what would you use this ammunition for? So cost effective blinking round. I mean, it seems a waste to be blinking with ammunition that's this accurate, but um, 70 cents around and everything else that's your budget ammunition is a dollar around. Um, then, yeah, it makes sense to be using this stuff for practice, um, just for practicing out. Um, it's great for long range shooting because of the extra stability of the large projectile. It gives you um, greater projectile stability right out in the longer ranges and I've found that um, going out to sort of 450-500 yards with the AR. So the larger projectile in this round uh, makes it a lot more stable in barrels with a lower twist rate. Um, so you can have your barrels um, with twist rate from 1 in 12 um, all the way down to 1 in 7. Um, one of the most common is the one that I've been using 1 in 9 and that um, is meant to be designed for 55 grain projectiles but I find that this shoots a lot more accurately and a lot more stably than any of the 55 grain projectiles that I'm using. Uh, when I talk about twist rates, that's um, how many revolutions in the rifling as you're running down the barrel. So uh, 1 in 12 means that you'll get one full revolution in 12 inches of barrel travel. 1 in 7 means one revolution in 7 inches of barrel travel. So I found since I've started using this ammunition, um, because of its consistency, being able to get a really good read on what velocity it's doing um, and when I'm chucking that into the ballistic calculator and reaching out a little bit further I know exactly where the bullet's going to be. There's no guesswork, there's no, oh, was that a good or a bad bullet. Um, they're nice and consistent so it takes the guesswork out and I'm getting a lot better results over long range which I'll um, hopefully demonstrate to you in a few videos. Um, so what's coming up soon on the budget gun nut? We'll be finishing work on the uh, out of the box possum and rabbit rifle review so that'll be up shortly. Uh, we'll be running a review on the Gecko 308 ammunition so that'll cover two of the more common calibers that we've got in New Zealand and two of the more cost effective calibers um, 308 and 223. So I chose them for a good reason when I went for my guns is that I'd be able to shoot a lot through them. I don't buy my guns not to shoot them so um, these are the two ammunitions that I'll be looking at in terms of um, performance and cost of the arms. So as of making this video, Gecko isn't available through your stores. Um, you can't go down to your local hunting and fishing store and uh, pick up a box. If you contact uh, Paul and Audrey at Araki Ammunition, great to deal with, really friendly couple um, and very, very efficient um, at getting their orders out. So drop them a line, they'll give you a price list um, and if you make an order they'll have it out to you quick smart once they've received the police forms. So um, yeah, I've, I've just found it's a great way to get my ammo, um, chuck the order in and it arrives to me in the courier. This Gecko ammunition gets the double thumbs up from the budget gun nut. Um, fantastic price and awesome performance. So thanks for watching that. If it's been a useful video, please click like and share. Um, if, you've, if it's piqued your interest, you can pick up a box of this stuff for $35.99 for 50 rounds. Give um, Paul and Audrey a call at Araki Ammunition and they'll happily send it out to you. You can give it a go and I can promise you, you'll be happy with the results. Um, because yeah, eight months of using it, it's never missed a step. So I'm, I'm happy to recommend it to you. You'll be bloody surprised with the results from the price, I can tell you that.